Thank you for staying with us. Several candidates for Congress have emerged to represent District 15 after Congressman Jose Serrano finished his term. And while it is early in the political season with primary elections set in June of 2020, here at Bronston, we'd like to introduce the candidates for District 15 to our viewers. We've reached out to all who have officially entered this race and have spoken to candidates Jonathan Ortiz, Thomas Ramos, Assemblyman Michael Blake, Councilmember Richie Torres, and David Franks Jr. Joining us today to discuss District 15, her candidacy, issues concerning the district, and more is candidate for Congress District 15, Melissa Mark Great. So great to have you here, Thank Melissa. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, you know, it, it, we're, no, we're not strangers. Yeah. We've seen you many times out in the field with, you know, just out talking to the people, doing what you're doing as also a former speaker, and know yet that you're passionate about so many issues, but, um, you know, you know, in the because we are running for time, we just want to talk about the issues that you're really passionate about. Um, starting off with women's health, if you could just talk about or any of the issues that you'd like to hit on to let our Bronxites know why yes. you're in this race. Well, let me let me just say, you know, we are in a very fragile moment in mm -hmm. our democracy, and I think obviously looking at issues locally are critically important and what can we do at the national level yes. to push back right we have an administration that is extremely hostile to communities of color it is hostile to low-income communities um, and so we are in the bullseye right of policies that this administration is putting forward that are detrimental when you talk about reduction there's a now news that they want to reduce further snap benefits which is nutritional assistance for families and for individuals when you talk about the assault on public housing of which we have the most in the country and taking away resources that are vital to improving the quality of life of those who live in public housing. We shouldn't be eliminating public housing. We should be trying to diminish the resources. We should be talking about creating more public housing. We have to fight for the things that are basic and which should be a priority in this country. Affordable housing, when we talk about health care, we should be, for, I, I support Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. uh, these are critically important to the lives of Bronxites and for those residents in the 15th Congressional District. So I am committed to continuing to be an advocate at a local level, but really taking the fight at the national level to that administration, again, that has been hostile and is hostile uh, to m people like me. Um, to those that I've represented, to those who are my family and neighbors and friends. And so that is what this is about, is about that we are in a fragile moment in time and that we need to take this fight at the national level, and that is what I'm willing to do as a congressional representative. So talk about what you're going to be bringing to the table, because uh, we've, talking, we've spoken to many of the candidates. NYCHA is a big issue, but tell me exactly what you're bringing to the table when it comes to the NYCHA issue. So, I mean, it, it, it is, bottom line, is it about making this a priority, right? We're not the only municipality, the only city uh, that has public housing. We need to create strong coalitions amongst congressional representatives, not only who represent housing, but who believe in housing as a right to really fight for more resources. So that is critical to make sure that we are pushing back on the, re the, the diminution of funds that are coming at the federal, from the federal level, and also to continue to advocate at the city and state level that more investments need to be made in NYCHA and that NYCHA needs to be held accountable. That without a doubt, there is a lot of mismanagement, um, but also that is work that has to happen. So more transparency and accountability. But it is about making housing a priority at a national level and building strong uh, coalitions with other representatives to make sure that that's an ongoing fight. We have great representation at the local level. Uh, we have other congressional reps here in New York that are taking on that fight. Uh, but again, this is about changing the dynamics in Congress bringing in people who are going to bring that fight, and changing the occupant in the White House. Uh, that is critical. So we need Bronxites, we need people in New York to take it to the polls and to really be uh, show strength in numbers when they go vote. Just want to move on to another topic that you're very passionate about, which is immigration. Yes. Um, what is talk about the representation and how you? Um, what is it that you're trying to do to change the scope on that topic? Look, I mean, uh, that, that's an issue that I am proud of the work that we've done at a local level. I've proven to be an incredibly strong ally and advocate and implement really innovative, outside-of-the-box policies that have helped protect our immigrant communities, those who we know are contributing positively. So I want to take that, continue to take that advocacy at a national level when we talk about helping unaccompanied minors and providing legal resources and legal representation, when we talk about those who are facing deportation proceedings, uh, again, and being able to provide. Obviously, we, we need to do comprehensive immigration reform, but again, we are in a hostile environment where we have Republicans in the Senate, 
and where we have an occupant in the White House who have made immigrants the battle front, the, the front line of this battle, and there is a, literally a war against um, uh, us as immigrants. And so there's children that are being separated. Uh, children are dying in custody, in U.S. custody. Families that are being, this is terrorizing families. So I will continue to lead and to really advocate for policies like the ones that we've implemented here in New York of limiting also cooperation uh, with ICE, which we've done here in the city of That's New York. That's what I was going to talk about. Just talk about some of the accomplishments yes. that you've made um, when it comes to immigration. Yes, we, we in the correctional, this was before I was speaker, mm -hmm. uh, and this was before this issue was even on the front lines and faced a lot of resistance. We had ICE that was literally based at Rikers Island, and we made, uh, through law, we legislated that ICE could no longer have a presence at Rikers Island and that we were going to limit the cooperation between our city officials and federal agents. And so that definitely is something that I would hope other municipalities or other cities are looking to, uh, to also enact. But we can and we have served as a model in a lot of policies that we've implemented. I'm proud to have led a lot of those efforts, and now we need to take this at a national level. But I think the bottom line, people want to know that they're going to have a representative who's going to fight for them that is going to make them the center of that fight. That is why I'm not taking any real estate money, any real estate developer money. I'm not taking any corporate PAC money because I want the constituents um, in the 15th Congressional District to know that they are ultimately the priority and they're the ones going to lead, um, lead me in terms of what I prioritize when I take this fight to Congress. And so my track record is very, is, speaks for itself about all the contributions I've made and that I am very vocal and I am very forceful and strong and that is the type of representation uh, the Bronx will have in, in me being a, Congress, a congresswoman in, in the next congressional Look into uh, two women who are looking to you for that representation. Women's health yes. has been hit drastically, changed so much. What are you? What do you want to tell the women in the community about their health and why they can put their trust in you? You know, our reproductive freedom is at risk. We actually have a candidate in this race who does not believe in a woman's right to her reproductive health and to make choices and decisions for herself. This is very, very real. And I have been uh, someone who, again, has advocated. I am a feminist. I am someone who believes strongly in a woman's right to choose, but also in a woman's reproductive health, uh, the rights to decide for herself what she's going to use, contraception, whatever choices she makes. That's her decision between her and her doctor, her and her family. And so that is at risk right now. A lot of gains that were made, but we literally are losing those rights. Planned Parenthood is having to turn away money because of all the restrictions that are being placed on it and that they're limiting the ability of Planned Parenthood to provide resources and advice to women uh, without being penalized. So there is a lot at risk and I know, want people to know that that to me is a priority and that we take a lot of things for granted but that we are in very difficult times uh, where a lot of the rights that we fought for are seriously at risk. We talk about voting rights. You had a segment yes. talking about access to vote. That's, that's under attack nationally. Women's reproductive health is under attack nationally. We're talking about health care is under attack nationally. This is serious times we're living in, and I believe I am the best able to really take on that fight, to be a forceful critic, um, and to make sure that we make the right choices and the right decisions in Congress. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. time out of your busy schedule to join thank us. So let's just talk about the issues that you want to tackle. Wishing you the very best. Gracias. To find out more about Melissa Mark Viverito for Congress, you can visit mmvforthebronx.com. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more open after this.